Just load him up for the Rainmaker, yeah, yeah, baby. Here we go. Rainmaker! Wow! Oh! Can he get it? Can he get it? What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After Dudes Delight. Like, let's talk about this match with Eddie Kingston and Kazushka Okada, man, for the Continental Championship, man. This was a very... Something was telling me that after last week where Okada attacked... Well, basically, he threw the title down on um, Eddie Kingston last week. Something was telling me, I was like, man... Could they actually give the title to Okada the very next week? Because we knew they were going to face each other on Dynamite, man. So, let's go over how the match went towards the end, man. So, Okada uh, threw a big clothesline at Kingston who put his arms up and still sold the move. By the way, the Young Bucks were watching backstage with Tony Khan, by the way. Uh, just wanted to make sure I put that in there. But, um, Kingston came back with a clothesline and it lowered the straps on his gear. Kingston grabbed Okada from behind. Okada grabbed the referee and escaped uh, Kingston's grip before gouging his eye. So he kind of had his thumbs in his eye right there. Kingston performed an enziguri, and then Okada ducked another spinning back fist attempt, and then Okada hit Kingston with the rainmaker clothesline. You knew that was going to be pretty much all she wrote for Eddie Kingston, and it was as he lost in almost 16 minutes and got the clean pin. That's what I liked about this. Okada got the clean pin on Eddie to win the, and he uh, he is the new Continental Championship. And they've been, I love that they did this. They did Pyro when he won, too. And the Young Bucks was very happy about um, Okada winning as well. So, um, but then Pac made his entrance and paced on the stage like he's going to be the next challenger for that Continental Championship off of Okada. So, we're going to see Pac. Pac was in that match last week against Okada in that uh, trios match. So, we're going to see what's going to be going on with that. But I love it, the fact that they gave Okada the, the Continental title early. You know, didn't we really waste any time, gave it to him early. I like that. I like that. Um, Eddie Kingston's been a good Continental champion, by the way, too. So, salute to Eddie Kingston, man. But, uh, yeah, now that uh, uh, Okada's got some type of title around his waist, it's going to put some more power into that Young Bucks group. Now we just need the Young Bucks to get the tag team titles, man. And uh, we'll... Well, have it. I just love their characters, man. They're acting like EVP douchebags. You know what? What they could have did as well, but I think it helps the young bucks not to follow anybody. Is that they could have had Don? They could have had them all join the Don Callis family because I did like the the little angle where Don Callis was uh, uh, managing Kenny Omega when he was a heel and he was uh, he had the title. I did like that, but I do like the Young Bucks in those EVP uh, positions, especially since they were sitting next to Tony Khan and looked like they were kissing ass. I love that. I love that, bro. I love that. That was great. That was great. So, Okada got that title, man. Give me your thoughts on this, and then give me your thoughts on how y'all think this is going to go with Pac. I don't think Okada's going to lose to Pac, though. I think he's going to have this, this uh, Continental title for a while, bro. But get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.